chase the moonlight. I work hard every day for a working man's pay, but I'm letting loose tonight. I think I'm gonna rise up. down um, we got set up here is 540 yards the bad thing is is the phone scope didn't get turned on or got turned off so we didn't get footage of the shot but we got everything else so I got phone scope footage of them before and then everything so but that's hunting in, in situations like this not everything goes as planned but we've got a ways to go down there and uh, get this thing broke down and then a long ways to go back but my thought process was well we can just spend our day packing or we're just gonna spend our day going back to camp and waiting and hopefully trying to find another bug so pretty excited looks like a good four point not like not like the one yesterday but a good solid buck beautiful country and uh, let's go get him can be a lot of work down there well morning day two we ended up seeing a couple little bucks a bunch of does and uh, then here at the end a bear came moving through so we got to watch him for a little while and other than that we're gonna head back into camp for a little bit and see what Ross and Landon turn up on their morning deal and then this afternoon we'll roll back out and start glassing got a storm coming in uh tomorrow so be good hopefully the deer will be up and moving and we'll have a chance this evening we got up to well the, the bucks right down this ridge our camps straight up over here so we kind of got here in the middle we're gonna shed some layers and get everything out of the pack besides what we absolutely need 
and we're going to work down into them because then we got a long way uphill and then a long way back that way. So we're just going to get as light as possible. Just got eyes on my buck. He's right down here in the bottom. He rolled a long ways. This is this crazy steep hillside. Oh man, what an amazing experience. This basin is incredible. It's not super incredible for packing out. I mean, so we've got to go up to the top and then we've got to hike the ridge way out. But it looks like a pretty good buck. And after yesterday and then seeing so many people, I was just in shock at how many people were up here. I was getting nervous that we wouldn't get a buck, even though we had a few more days. But we have a storm coming in tonight, it's supposed to snow a bunch. And I told Landon, I said, well, I said, I figure we can sh pack this thing out all day or we can just keep hiking our butts up trying to find one. But it sucks we didn't get footage. I'm sorry about that, guys. I mean, I did that last year with Toby's buck, didn't hit record and or I hit it and it like my phone's so screwy like sometimes you hit it and it won't actually record and then you have to just make sure and but an amazing experience amazing so we're gonna get down to here luckily the sun hasn't even come up over into this basin and uh, we're gonna get this thing broke up or broke down and then embrace the suck as we hike up out of this basin but we've got a dead buck day two what an amazing day. This buck has got a huge body, which we're not super excited about because where we're at. I mean, we have to go back up behind us, but amazing buck. He's got good mass. We were looking, there was two bucks pretty similar. The other one was a little more spindly and had better forks than this one. I didn't actually see this crab over here, um, but this buck had the mass and man, his backs are great and beautiful country. Can't get over how incredible it is down here. We icon tour the seasons is starting off pretty good. Jimmy got a buck yesterday, Lex got a buck, Kyle's buddy, and then I shot this buck today. And we've got two more tags to fill unless they filled another one this morning. But incredible experience. We're back here with the horses. Landon and I spiked out for two days and uh, we've got this buck down and we gotta get to work on him because we've got a long ways up to the top and he is a big bodied sucker. So Pretty awesome. We are getting everything loaded up. We took our time and boned this deer out, which is nice. So I've got half and Landon's got the other half. So we're just getting loaded up and getting everything ready to go. But, oh, shade. We broke this thing down as quick as we could because as soon as we got done taking pictures up, the sun came over the hill and it was getting hot. So we're gonna get things loaded up and we're out of here. Well. We're out of here is a big understatement. We're like going to attempt to get out of here. <laughs> Way up there. Attempt. Slow and steady. Steady and slow. That's the way I always roll. Got my camera. Is that a, to keep the camera. Okay. Just for. Was that a hike? Was that a haiku? That was a haiku. Say it again. Slow and steady. Okay. Slow and steady. Okay, what is that? Slow and steady, steady and slow. That's, That's I always roll. Roll, roll, go. <laughs> All right. Strap her on. <laughs> Gotta go up the mountain a long way.
We just made it back to Spike Camp. Long ways. It was so we were a thousand foot up to Spike Camp. Now we're like two thousand feet down to base camp. Uh, there's the buck. This was this was home for the last two nights. So not too shabby at all. Luckily we got a buck down up here. Made worth spending the night up here. But we just tried to get a hold of my dad, sent him an inreach message. We're having a little bit of issues uh, communicating with the inreach, but hopefully he's bringing horses up here. And we're going to try to meet him. But hopefully when he gets up here, we can put our packs in. And <laughs> if not, I guess just if not, we'll be going a little farther. But <sighs> nice to be back to Spike Camp. Well, his plans always change. Went to one spot, Lex went to another. One of our bucks showed back up, so. Now we're walking all the way around the side of the mountain again. And uh, hopefully I'll crack at him here in a little bit. So, keep you posted and let you know how it goes. Okay, so we hiked slash ran our way around the side of the hill here. And uh, on the way we found out Ross and Landon got a boat down, so we got the mules. And Howard headed his direction. Trav and Lex got up here and set up on this buck. He's bedded in the timber right now, 450. So I'm just gonna give it a little bit of time and wait for him to stand up. Be ready to go. We've now got Spike Camp loaded up and half the deer. Well, half the deer and Land's got half the deer. Finally got a hold of Dad. He's bringing horses up, so hopefully he'll meet us halfway or so and it'll make the downhill go a whole lot easier. So clouds are moving in. We're gonna get trucking that way and then uh, throw this stuff on the horses. So hard to complain about that. So that's your deer, huh? Yeah. Missed the big one yesterday. Yep. Oh, shoot. Oh, sight patrol legs. Huh? Here's a sight for sore legs. Good. What huh. you got? In it? Oh, it's, it's getting loaded up. Okay. Safety's on too. Okay. Okay. No, you do you. Just wait for him to stop. Middle of the shoulder. Got him. Just a little low. Reload. I got him. I got him. Right Reload. There. Coming down the hill. Where? He's underneath that stob. Just stopped. See the stob? Go left. Find a tree now, I think. Big tree. Which, uh, where is he now, Jim? So left of the snag. Left of the snag. Um, there's a big, super tall fir, same. It's on the other side of the creek, super big fir. Okay. He's right behind that tree somewhere. Okay. So we've watched this buck for three days now. Um, he didn't show up yesterday or this morning, so Jim and I struck out for new ground and we left Lex here to see if he'd uh, turn back up. And about halfway on our journey, Lex found him. We made it all the way to where we were going and finally got a bunch of messages that the buck was back. So we turned around and ran back here. Now we've sat on this buck for probably two hours now and finally stood up, got a shot into him and he ended up running uh, halfway back to camp, so <laughs> this is going to be the easiest pack out of my career for sure. I'm really excited. 
We got him. Is this crazy that we're walking my camp? Oh man, good buck, Trav. Trav, big buck killer. Appreciate the help, guys. You're on terror, biggest bull, biggest buck here alive, back track here, bud. Well, despite your help, no, no. seem to be doing stuff right. <laughs> That's dandy, bud. Yep. Heck yeah. Pretty excited. Whenever I'm ready. Hold hands or something. I mean, if you want it. Mm -hmm. I want to <laughs> prom picture it. <laughs> oh. Start talking whenever. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> well, here he is. Um, timing couldn't have been better. We uh, were set up on him for a long time, and right is uh, probably two minutes before he stood up. Um, Ross and his dad rode up with Ross's buck. And Ross said, well, did you shoot him yet? And we were about to. So he hung out and got to see the whole thing play out. And I uh, couldn't be happier. It's a phenomenal buck. Great basin we're working in. Uh, really cool area. Super cool. I got to hunt um, a spot I just moved to. So real fortunate for Jim for bringing me along and Ross and Landon and his dad and real appreciative of Lex spotting this thing for me. So <laughs> it's a team effort for sure. It's a great buck. Great buck. So we've, we've kept the streak alive. Two bucks yesterday, two bucks today. Okay. Landon actually, we just heard him shoot. So he might've run the streak and shot a third buck, which if he did, he's kicked out of the group. <laughs> so we only shoot two bucks a day. Two bucks a day max. <laughs> but man, crazy two days. Four bucks. Four quality bucks. A lot of people. Yeah. So I feel really fortunate to get this many deer. It's been eye opening seeing how many people come in this <laughs> yeah. far. So a lot more ambitious. I'm sure. excited to get back to base camp and I've got Dr. Pepper and a Coke down there if they haven't drank it all. So <laughs> we left no, one for you. No guarantees. <laughs> uh great shot, great buck. Yeah. Old Ursula didn't let us down. No, how far was it? Four fifty? Yeah, 470, somewhere in there. Drove it right home, so she's proven. Awesome. Should we just keep looking at each other? And <laughs> Love you, Dad. Love you, Dad. <laughs> no, what, what did you say last year? Oh, she hungry. Oh, she hungry. Oh, she hungry. I'll be hungry. I'll be hungry. Well, it's the evening of the second day of the rifle hunt, and we have four of five tags filled already. Um, that one tag is mine. Have yet to pull the trigger, but we've got four guys tagged out, uh, four really nice bucks, and uh, so we've got one more to fill. We got a little bit of weather coming in tonight, which may make the hunting good, but uh, might make things a little bit more uncomfortable. But uh, we're only two days into the hunt, uh, and we still got the evening hunt tonight, so uh, plenty of opportunity and we'll just see what happens. But now it looks like I might have four scouts for me <laughs> or four guides. So uh, still optimistic. Uh, hopefully we can get it done tonight or tomorrow morning, but uh, we'll see what happens. But there are a lot of deer up here, some beautiful country, and it's been a good hunt. In fact, we've killed three of those four bucks right here in this one basin that we're camped in. Right here we've got camps set up in every direction from us and I think all these guys can't figure it out how we've uh, killed all these bucks but these guys have killed in, uh, sat in this spot and spotted these deer uh, the last couple of days and uh, been able to outcompete everyone else so just got one more to find and then we'll be headed eight miles back out to the trucks so wish us luck what do you guys think of day two <sighs> 
pretty good day. Day two was pretty awesome. Pretty successful day two. <clears throat> kept it alive, kept the streak alive at least. Shooting two bucks. Yeah. So, you know, uh, par for the course. Not a bad view. Not much foot. I like that. It's a good looking foot. <laughs> <laughs> foot model. That's, that's a nice cowboy. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning back in to another episode of Icon Tour of the Seasons. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As you can tell in the video, I was a little happier in today's video than I was the, the video prior. Got an awesome buck on the ground. It was definitely bittersweet not getting the kill shot. It was such an epic setup. And we were so excited after we shot that buck. And then when we saw that the video wasn't there, it was kind of heartbreaking. And uh, normally, if you weren't trying to video your hunts, you'd just be excited and it wouldn't matter. But we were trying to get that footage for you guys. So we really do apologize for that. But we got a great buck on the ground. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it was amazing to be able to pack my buck back to camp and then be able to watch as Travis shot his awesome buck. Just a cool experience. Um, and the likelihood of that happening was just insane because it was literally minutes right after I got there that that buck stood up when we got that shot so two bucks down we kept the icon tour streak alive we got two bucks in the day and uh, we've got one more tag to go so we're gonna have to end that so we can get land in a buck um, but two bucks today two bucks opening day thank you guys so much for watching um, I'm gonna jump in and announce the winners of the vortex prize package as well as a screenshot contest so the winner of the vortex prize package which was the bino harness the hat and the shirt is Jordan Olson Said, great bucks. I like seeing hunters, just not on the same mountain you're hunting. Can't wait to see the next buck. And how true is that? That we love seeing hunters. We love seeing the tradition of hunting getting passed on to people. And we like knowing that people are hunting, but we really don't like it when they're hunting the same mountain or canyon or trailhead that we're hunting. So, Jordan, great comment there. So shoot us an email, switchbackoutdoorstv at gmail. We'll get your prize pack sent your way. And let's jump into the screenshot contest. The winner is Matt Kaiserman. Had an awesome screenshot of Lex's buck all broke down. Matt, you win a prize pack from Switchback Outdoors. Shoot us an email, switchbackoutdoorstv at gmail. We'll get that set up for you guys. And we're going to jump right into announcing what we're giving away today. Today we are giving away a Canyon Coolers Nomad 20. It's an awesome soft-sided cooler. Um, they just released these a couple months ago, and we're going to be giving away one of these Nomad 20s. So, did something a little different. You still have to comment down below, but we hid a Switchback Outdoors logo somewhere in this video. So, in the comments below, you need to write where you saw that logo in the description below. And we know people might, they could cheat, and if they didn't see it, they could look in the comments and see it. We're gonna give you guys the honor system. So find that logo, comment down below, leave us another comment, you know, about what's your favorite part of the video was. Um, but that'll get you entered to win to that Canyon Coolers Nomad 20. Screenshot contest is still going on. So screenshot something from this video, tag us on Instagram um, with this hashtag switchback screenshot. You'll be entered to win a prize package from us. Thank you guys once again for all your support. We really can't thank you guys enough. Um, and uh, if you haven't, click the link in the description below to get entered, entered in to win that Gunwork 6.5 PRC. Um, it's an amazing rifle. Get your name in for that. And also, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description below. We got new hats in. So if you guys like this leather patch um, hat, click the link in the description below. Get yourself a new hat. We appreciate your guys' support on that aspect. And uh, we're going to see you guys on this next video. Um, we're in the high country, Wyoming. We got one more tag to fill. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you guys in the next video.